Welcome back everyone to an episode of Thronefall with me, Dr. Munchkin. So last time, if you've been following along, we have been on Morwig, one of the new maps. And <laughs> instead of continuing on, we've been trying to 100% these maps as we move along. But last time we went ahead and did the Shrine Challenge, which was pretty awesome. So we did Quest C, and today we're actually going to attempt to do the Range God with the no unit. So oh, that's fun. All right, so the no units packed. Now, the question becomes, what do we want to do? Obviously, we need to buff ourselves, and some of this is really, really good for buffing ourselves. I don't know if we want this, or if we want range resistance, so we can actually get in there and do some damage. Now, this was really strong. The question is, do we want to do that again, or do we go for something like this, where my weapon becomes more powerful every night, so I can do crazy amounts of damage. And again, we'll still try to do the research and everything else. Hmm, but this also is a pseudo economy. That could work better for us. I don't lose. We are gonna need towers though, so I do need a strong economy. This will also help the buildings. All right, we're gonna do that. Now the question is, do I do warrior training? Or do I do Ancient Shrines again? You know what? We're going to do the Warrior Train and we'll buy the Shrines along the way. Because these are 50% stronger, but we also have the Pyramid to go use. So we're going to give this a shot. And so we're trying to do E today. And as we're getting into this, as always, if you guys like the content, please make sure you guys like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Alright, let's load in. Build our castle. Now these guys are coming in. I am going to try to build this. Again, getting those shrines online. And we will build... Don't have that available as of yet. What we are going to do is we're going to do an early upgrade. We're going to get magic armor for ourselves. And I kind of want them to come in here. We'll see if that works out. But let's go ahead and start the night. They are a bit faster, that's fine. Again, I want them to come in here. Come a little closer. Or not. Well, the ghosts we should be able to get in here, so. That is fine. So these ghost guys are coming in. We're going to build that. We're also going to build this to start with, and we're going to build a house. So we want them to come all the way in so we can try to activate these shrines because they will help us defend the main base. Once again though, because there is no high score, we don't really need to worry about that. I'm going to try to take this one. Or maybe not. We'll just, we'll just do all of it. We'll come over here. Pop our shields. Trying to get this top one killed that may activate. Don't need one more. Alright, that's activated. We're gonna pull them over here. And if we clean this up, I think we'll be activating our third shrine. Boom, so that is an amazing start, as all of this is gonna give us gold. Very solid. Now this guy, don't have any units, wanna build that, kill him there. Now since we do have some economy, I could upgrade that, but more importantly, we wanna upgrade this and get more weapon damage for myself. I am gonna get that for economy. I do have heroes. Huh, why do I have units? 
Oh, they changed it. So I... All right. <laughs> I still have units. They're just a heck of a lot more expensive. Didn't realize that. That's fine. I was under the guise that you don't have units, which is how that uh, mutator used to work. But we want this guy to come into here. Now he will activate this outright, which would be really good. But he is considered a monster. The other nice thing is we technically do have health regeneration. Now this is going to be a little bit of a long wave because we don't have units. Didn't realize we still had units. Over this way, buddy. Ah, oh, darn it. But I can't force him. Back this way. Stay here. You're a quarter of the way down. That's also why we want the... It's the next level perk where we do 25% of their health as our first hit. Because then this becomes just like a chunk. The other thing we're going to want to do is there's a wall that we can build here, and we don't want to build them all. We want to build the southern walls so that they all funnel up. One of the things we are going to have to contend with, though, is there are some flying enemies. Which we're going to need to build some towers for if I'm not going to go and try to do an archer route. Now, getting all the shrines activated this early is actually extremely beneficial to us because it provides us means to have early economy to afford all these things. This guy's almost dead. I know, right? <laughs> this be the devil. But you can see, like, we're not really having issues here. Like, I'm not going to die. Especially with the health steel and the shield. I'm loving this new weapon. Boom. So that gets activated, we get tons of gold. So these are spiders. We're gonna activate these guys. Reason being, they will help protect us. Coming over here to activate this. And this is what we wanna do. We wanna activate this wall so they have to go all the way around. Now coming into here, we will not spend the money there. What we are actually gonna do we're going to upgrade this, so one, we will get more houses, more gold, and then I will spend money up here and get more get more damage for ourselves, so we become more of a tankish person. Let's jump off here, and then we want to try to capture these guys as they come around. Having an occasional one goodbye is not the end of the world. And this shrine should be activated fairly quickly. Like so. And because I'm funneling them up there, they have to go by that particular... That particular shrine. Which will shoot them. I do need more help. I don't have the uh, the same melee resistance as we had before. It may behoove me to research that, but we went ahead and completed that wave. Not too bad. This is a big wave. Slightly concerned about it. But we are getting a bunch of money, which is very, very good. We do have economy online. That's still being researched. That's still being researched. Let's go ahead and do this. And we're going to go ahead and do a sniper tower to reach out there. Now this one. I just want to do a normal tower like that. 
don't have to build any of that stuff right now. Next turn, we are going to upgrade ourselves. Let's build sniper tower. Sniper tower again. I'll just build another tower here. I kind of want to keep this open, and in, in reality, I should build this so they have to go all the way around. But they should try to take the path of least resistance. I think it's smart, but what do I know? We also probably want to do a range damage upgrade just for the towers. Here, we'll let you come in so the... there you go. You're good. You did. Alright, now this one... This is where we want to try to activate that tower. And we are going to upgrade ourselves so we do a bit more damage. And this gets more health. But I want to this, when my character attacks, we do a lot more damage now. That's going to help us against the final boss, as well as some other people. We're going to do this as well to kind of have them go around. And do some prep over here, because we know we're going to have those big waves coming later. Or not big waves, but we're going to have a wave of flying enemies come in. Go ahead and just prep there. You know, we'll just build a house to try to get some economy. But I want to try to get them over here. That's not gonna work. <laughs> I got one. When the the other stuff comes in, we'll see. You can see how much damage though we're we're kind of doing just along this path. Oh, they're coming in. Clean these guys up. So close. Shouldn't have any issues here. The shrines are indestructible, and then we are hitting like a tank. We got some things coming in. That's not the end of the world. We are going to go over here, though. We need more research. I'm going to get more weapon damage. Or maybe do I want health? Uh, we'll do weapon damage for now. Maybe we do health for the last bit. Now this, I am going to do a little bit of um, range damage so the buildings get a little bit more. Now they do have some muster. They are not almighty, to say the least. Don't have enough there. I only have four. I think that is two houses worth, isn't it? I think so. Because the house is worth two. Alright. Stop running into the trees. I'm going to go here. This is where we want that uh, that range damage. Now these guys are going to start to come into the, all the shrines. Would be good. There's one down. Let's see if I can't pull you this way a little bit, or not. There it is. They're trying to work on that tower. These guys up there are just stuck. 
don't know what is with their AI. Maybe if the wall down there gets destroyed, they'll come down. That guy's not gonna last much longer though. And boom. It seems that the routing on this level is broken. I don't want you guys near the shrine, so the shrine did, or at least in range of, um, let's see if I can push them. Push, push. The things are nice, but they're, they're not as scary as one might think, especially when we start to get our upgrades rolling. A little bit of a long way. It's wave seven out of twelve. I just wanted to check. I didn't memorize all of the levels. And... Come on, finish, finish, kill it, kill it. All right, that's done. All right, what do we got? Hundred ghosts. Now these guys just go through things, so that's it's going to be a thing. Um, since we have towers, we're going to upgrade these. this. Trying to do a true no units pack where we don't actually use the units. But what do I know? I'm going to go ahead and use this one as well. Especially if we start to funnel them this way. That'll just be extra damage. But I need to get into the midst of this. Let's try to do all the damage. Now the closer I bring them, the more the towers are going to help. Obviously I can pop the shield, deal with the health back. This is 100 enemies. Maybe we should have gone for at least one of the shrine bonuses. We could have. Separated, but it's actually really helpful for us. They're going for that tower. I'm okay with that. Pull them in a little bit though. Still need to activate that shrine down there. But now we should be solid. Especially once that extra range damage comes up on them. Golden. Alright, that's complete. Still need that one. Those guys should do it, especially with all that going on. We're going to upgrade these just for some safeties. We're going to make you a super tower. Like that. Research is still going. We can spend the money there. And then we will just do a little bit of this while we're at it, just for some extra. All right, we're gonna come down here to try to get them here. at the castle. Oh, it seems to be spiders got there. Take out the spiders. That was easy. Now all the flying enemies. These guys are bad. So this should help take all those guys out because he's a super tower. 
We got rid of those. And because the shrines are online, eh, that's going to help immensely. And the shield helps protect me against them. Perfect. Okay, this is the massive wave from up north. Here, we're going to build a armored tower, and I'm going to make it a fire one. Now, all these guys should try to come down to the left here, go all the way down. Um, darn it, we, well, we need more money for research. Ugh. few things and ghosts coming in. It's not the end of the world. What we do need to do though, which I neglected on, second to last wave, we are going to go ahead and pop this and we are going to get the ice. That one. We don't have enough time to do those, unfortunately. What we can do though is activate this. Get super towers online. This is in prep as well for the mighty Crypt Keeper death person that's coming. And we'll go ahead and... Well, a house isn't going to be useful. But we need to try to take out these things. <laughs> Doing a significant amount of damage to them is a good start. And the ice that we got is a good start as well. The ghost, though, I am concerned about. And then you can see here they are at that fire tower, which is why we built it when we did. It is holding. It's just a massive. Still doing good, I am going to have to funnel in at some point. Yep, we're coming to here now. Being we haven't really done a lot of damage to any of these guys. And now we can kind of block it in. Now the ghosts are coming, which is a problem. Maybe not. That extra damage that we got might have saved us. I think we're fine. I'm not really seeing them come in. Like, we can see them coming, coming in there, but they're not getting close. That's the castle. Right there. up nicely. Very nice. Alright, we got tons of gold, which is really nice. We're going to come over here. We're definitely going to activate this. Now, I don't need gold tonight, so we are going to 
activate the shrines to have extra damage. We will go ahead and build this one as well. Like that. And you know what? I'm feeling pretty confident. Especially with these guys. Let's just go ahead and take them on solo. Why not? Again, there's that huge chunk right there. We are doing a decent amount of damage to him. And now once we come in here, you can start to see little flickers of his life. Just go. Activate the shield during this. He's already at half health. be able to wipe him out for this whole gauntlet. Especially because he stops. Oh no, I died. That's bad. We don't want to die. Uh, this might be closer than we expected. Maybe I should have spent more money. Oh, he's hurting me with a stab. That's what it is. Well, that should stop those ghosts. here and there we go we're able to beat it without any actual troops so we did the traditional no troop pack 790 bonus over 10,000 and no restarts 11,000 new high score loving it alrighty well we only have one more to go still don't know oh, I gotta beat the next level to get that one does that can I actually do that? Boom and boom. So they will be faster. Not the end of the world. Humanoid enemies have a chance to respond as ghosts. That's also not that bad. Um, just from the the look of things. Now we may not. We don't want that. We could do the melee build again. I don't know if I necessarily want that. Um, we found where we can actually die against the boss. I think if we had this. We might have lived because I think that staff thing is a melee damage. Um, but yeah, we'll have to try this one next time. Now, the first three nights will be harder. That's fine. I'm going to buy those shrines like we did. Um, they're just more enemies and they're faster. So we should be able to get all three shrines up like we did last time, which will be really, really good. Because then the, then the, oh, we'll get the first shrine available first wave, which will then help us with the other waves against the ghosts. Perfect. So that's three shrines up and running, like right at the start. And then we'll start trying to get, um, oh, is the thing? Is the, oh, the thing might be there. That's besides the point. But what we might want to do um, is we may want to do shrines again. I don't know. The shrine could be fun. We And we'll have more gold with it as well. So anyways, that's going to do it for today. So I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will catch you guys next time. Dr. Munchkin signing out.